Check out how the new Eaton Drawout Switchboard works. Breakers are horizontally mounted to minimize space. An aluminum bus is standard, and copper and silver-plated copper are available. An opening allows access to a racking port. The breaker can be racked or removed with a crank mechanism. Then grab handles make it easy to remove and install the drawout breaker. The power line switchboard design uses a cassette with two parts, base and drawout cassettes. The base cassette, as shown here, is specially designed and permanently factory mounted. It contains the racking mechanism, pull apart terminal block base, plus line and load connectors for the drawout breaker. Line side and load side connectors are covered by a clear shield to help avoid contact with live parts. To access wire terminations, the load side shield is removable. Line side connections are factory connected to the switchboard vertical bus, and load side feeder conductors are part of the base cassette, so the breaker can be removed without the hassle or time required to remove load conductors. The drawout cassette allows the breaker and breaker accessory connections to be removed. It includes a viewing window so that personnel can inspect the status and external racking port. An indicator lets you know whether the breaker is connected or disconnected. Note that safety features are designed to prevent personnel from connecting or removing the breaker while it's on and energized. The racking port allows access to the racking mechanism to draw out the breaker. To rack the breaker, turn the crank clockwise until the indicator shown through the window is red. The drawout cassette uses the JG or LG series breaker family. The standard offering of JG and LG breakers includes an adjustable thermal magnetic trip unit. Industry leading 310 plus electronic trip units are optional and feature curve shaping, zone interlocking, arc flash reduction, and diagnostic features. Optional infrared viewing windows are also available for single mounted draw out molded case breakers for line side and load side scanning. All in all, as you can see, adding or replacing breakers can be done quickly, even down the road. To add a breaker, take out the plate on the cassette and rack the new breaker in place. No cabling is required. No dead fronts or covers need to be removed.